and they were really, really successful. They did really well for teenagers. Uh, they were really proud of them. And then they kind of looked back at them about 12 to 18 months later and thought, oh, hang on a second. These are education resources. They're great. The teenagers love them. They're not being used as a teaching resource. Um, so they came to us and they said, right, we want you to get these sites up, ranking for teacher resources. So we've gone from these sites that focused on teenagers that, I mean, their very mission in life was not to attract teachers in some respects, um, because that would immediately scare off the teenagers. And they want to turn around, somehow get a load of teaching keywords in there and suddenly get them ranking for teacher resources. Um, so our, our entire goal was, well, okay, how can we get these ranking without actually scaring off the teenagers? So lots of research later, keyword research, looking at actually what was happening in the search engine results at, this, at that moment in time, focus groups with teachers finding out where they look and who they ask, um, research around what the sites are that are there at the minute, trying to understand where we can put our content. And so this is all fairly standard SEO research anyway. And it's at this point that we realised there was one major difference uh, between our sites and when you're normally doing an SEO project, and that's that. Partly, first of all, we know that teachers, they don't just go and say, I want lesson plans, I want teacher resources. They're very specific. They know what they want. So they want key stage four psychology teacher resources. They know exactly what it is they're looking for. They tend to go to Google and look for it. They're not necessarily going to just go to what would be the trip advisor of teaching sites, which might be TES. Um, and they're finding our sites to some extent. And that was the key point is, yes, OK, they were finding our sites. So what's the problem? I mean, they're, they're there. They hear about them in the classroom. Their teenagers are talking about them. They know about them. But then we realised teachers don't actually know that they can use these sites as a resource. So what we realised is this content, we've got video, we've got flash games of all sorts of stuff. It doesn't actually matter if it's our sites that rank. It didn't matter whether TES was in number one position or some kind of teaching forum or whatever it was. What mattered was that our content was there. So it was kind of a three-way solution. It's part content distribution, and it is also SEO. You still want to be thinking about link building. You still want to be thinking about your keywords. But it's also second-hand SEO, where you're potentially link building to your TES page rather than to your actual site.